Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. I don't know if you can hear the bells tolling. Uh, I love when we celebrate every hour together. And today I was thinking how beautiful it is to be together um, in spite of these circumstances or thanks to these circumstances. And today is May 1st. So I have a special announcement for all the seniors who should be moving up, should be celebrating in a different way. And uh, this message is for you and for all of us. As usual, I, I like to put together PowerPoints because of the images and hopefully that will inspire us and also keep me on track. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to share the screen as I usually do. And um, this is important for, for all of us. So I'm launching my PowerPoint for today. It's for the seniors and for all of us. Here we are. Thumbs up if you can see our seniors and the transformative power of work and why, why work, why seniors? Here we go. It's not just your moving up day that we are going to hopefully celebrate with uh, many, many things to come, but it's one of the many lasts that we'll, you will have with us. Also, May 1st in other countries, they celebrate Labor Day. And the reason behind that is that in 1886, there was a strike with workers who were trying to uh, fight for an eight hour workday. And there was a problem, there was a bomb and the policeman killed a few of the workers. And at that time, the Communist Party decided to start celebrating May Day um, for the workers. But here in the United States, and not just the United States, uh, in the church, we decided to honor May Day for the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. And I love how smart the, the church is. We don't want the communist vision on work. We want the Catholic Christian vision on work and its redeeming power. So who, who better to show us how to work than St. Joseph and how he taught um, our Lord how to work. So here, bear with me, we move again. And the idea of that God created each of us to be co-redeemers with him the idea of knowing that we are stewards of creation. And so in Genesis, we read how God created us, each of us in his image and likeness, male and female, he created us. And God blessed them, Adam and Eve and us, and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea, of the birds of the air, and every creature that crawls upon the earth. Then God said, Behold, I have given you every seed bearing plant on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit contains seed. They will be yours for food. And so here we are being co redeemers and in this beautiful adventure, and how our work is our way of contributing to this beautiful adventure of living a life worth living. That is my invitation, our invitation at Fenwick to all the seniors, but all of us to finish strong, um, especially today, it's such a rainy, gray day, but forget about that. Do not be content with a routine fulfillment of your duties, all of us. We have to put our heart and mind into our professional work. You students, your professional work is being the best student you can be, the best son you can be, the best daughter you can be, the best sibling you can be. Not perfection, remember, not perfection, just the effort, the love that you put. And love is incompatible with boredom and apathy. To love means to renew our dedication every day with loving deeds of service. So freely decide to give your very best today. Seniors, 
here we go again. I'm trying to inspire you and we are all trying to inspire you to dream, imagine high ideals and the great sacrifices you will have to make to achieve those ideals. Imagine that each soul is the master of its own destiny for good or for ill. This is a last push. Finish well, be adventurous, have an intellectual initiative. Inspire others. You can raise the temperature among your friends. In this last chapter at Fenwick, reach out to those who are disillusioned or struggling to pass a class. Please, they need you. And all our students, all of us, again, engage. Do not be afraid of failure, put effort. You already have a no, you already have a zero if you don't do the work. So there is only a win-win if you put the effort and if you try. Do not give up. Honor the sacrifices of so many who love you, your parents, your teachers. Finish well, finish strong. The APs, do not sign up and get a one, okay? It's a lot of effort to teach you, to grade you. And we are co-creators again. This is a sunrise for each of us, a new beginning for each of us. Remember what I was talking about, writing our own autobiography. Fill out this page in your autobiography, finishing well, your work very well. God is giving you, me, the grace to finish strong if you ask for his help and respond to it when you are completely helpless. He's there carrying you. Remember, it's a new sunrise. And now we pray uh, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I chose a prayer, prayers to St. Joseph for workers, okay? Joseph, by the work of your hands and the sweat of your brow, you supported Jesus and Mary and had the Son of God as your fellow worker. Teach me to work as you did with patience and perseverance for God and for those whom God has given me to support. Teach me to see in my fellow workers the Christ who desires to be in them, that I may always be charitable and forbearing towards all. Grant me to look upon work with the eyes of faith so that I shall recognize in it my share in God's own creative activity and in Christ's work of our redemption and so take pride in it. When it is pleasant and productive, remind me to give thanks to God for it. And when it's burdensome, teach me to offer it to God in reparation for my sins and the sins of the world. So May 1st, moving up, make it memorable. Give your very best until May 22nd and be aware that this is not it, okay? I forgot in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. The announcements, as you saw, the lawn signs are coming along and that's not the end of it. We have many surprises prepared for you. If you were yesterday at the town hall with um, parents, uh, we have many celebrations. Uh, we want to honor you. And so if you have more suggestions, respond to the survey that you'll be getting um, soon. Homework, junior, sophomores, and freshmen, haha, make the appointment with your counselor, discuss course selections for next year. Be attentive for an email that will go out today, reminding you to do that if you haven't done that. Homework for all of us, start a new project, an assignment, and begin with the one you like the least and finish it well, do it with love, offer it up for someone who is suffering because of COVID-19. And the pre-intention will be that our seniors last day for classes for a successful finish with your senior exams, your APs, finish well. And all of us have a beautiful, memorable weekend. And here we are, you're not alone, we are together. We love you, have a beautiful, beautiful Friday. Thank you.